Hey everybody, I'm Gabriella Stafford. I'm a Canadian 1500 meter athlete and I'll be running at NACAC in Toronto in August. We're here at my home where I'm gonna be cooking one of my go-to uh, favorite meals, which is scrambled eggs with vegetables in it and sweet potato fries. Oh, and my nicknames. Um, people don't call me Gabby, fun fact. So if you do, it's because you don't know me well. <laughs> people do call me, my coach started calling me G. Uh, when I was in grade 10. Mm, probably once a week. I probably cook this meal once a week. <laughs> there's definitely certain running clothes that I grab more than others. Um, you know, there's like those ones that you only wear when you're about to do laundry. Uh, but there have like, the, I have certain like Brooks sports bras that I just absolutely love because they're like super colorful and fun. Probably, I really like, she's not a runner. Um, her name's Elena Fender. She's a uh, YouTuber, uh, she lives in Vancouver, she's an uh, LGBTQ activist, she's bisexual, um, and she talks a lot about like mindfulness and self-compassion uh, and positive psychology. Haha, <laughs> I, I dabble in the ukulele. I, I like to sing more. Um, I wouldn't say that I'm a very proficient ukulele player, it's just something that I do when I wanna have an accompaniment. My favorite memory is the race. That was definitely the highlight. Um, like going into the stadium, it wasn't uh, the same, like in comparison to world championships in London, it wasn't as full, it wasn't as loud, but it was the Olympics and um, there were still lots of people in the stands and I was in a heat with Jenny Simpson and it was, just like amazing to feel, you know, like, wow, like I'm here, I did it. I don't know, I, maybe people don't know that I like to draw and I'm decent at it. I'm decent at drawing, not as good as my sister. Lucia is an amazing artist, but um, I do like to doodle. Uh, it really frustrates me when governments and societies like don't take like global warming and climate change seriously. And like, there has to be like really drastic shifts in our culture to um, to like address those issues. It's like, it's, a ve it's very challenging to be environmentally friendly in like the current structure. I really love hanging out with my, um, my fiance Rowan, I'm hanging out with my family. Uh, yeah, like just hang yeah, hanging out with like my friends and family. Hmm. <laughs> I really like the Brickworks. I like Brickworks and Sunnybrook Park. Um, yeah, I'd say those are my favorite places. There's like a great view from the Brickworks that I love. Uh, and that's also my favorite place to run. The one that comes to mind is it doesn't help you to be overly hard on yourself. I think it would be cool to be a multi-eventer though. <laughs> that's still track, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I got a message over Instagram and it was Leah Pels. And I was like, whoa, my God, what? This is so cool. So it's like a huge, Huge role model for me. She came fourth at the Atlanta, I should look that up, but I think it was like the Atlanta, I'm not sure what year it was, but it was the Atlanta Olympics. Well, one of my favorite songs, I go into saying is Under Pressure by Queen. Um, I, I think that's a good song. Um, and I also like taking photos, uh, like photography. Um, yeah, I'm not like super proficient at it, but I, it, is, it is something that I enjoy. I like taking photos of my family and um, and like trying to capture like videos. I spend too much time on my phone. I don't like it. It's just, I find it very easy to like just get trapped in like the infinite scroll, you know? Fellow Canadian 1500 meter athletes um, are great role models. Uh, like when I grew up, like Sheila Reed was a huge role model for me and Kate Van Buskirk. So it was super cool when I like got to meet her because she's Torontonian. Um, uh, I really admire Nicole Cifuentes. I think she's super cool. Uh, and I feel like really grateful that she's like so friendly to me and she's such like a mentor. I really love that feeling when it like just all comes together and it just feels effortless and fluid and everything just seems to connect, whether that be in a race or in a workout. I saw this quote one time that says that you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. And I think that's, uh, it's, it's, it's so true. Um, so I think it's really important to make sure that you're surrounded by good people who lift you up and support you and you do the same for them. So here it is, one of my favorite meals. Um, thanks so much for listening and I hope you learned a little bit more about me. <laughs>